Hi there, it's Ski Okafor here from Point Blank Music School and I just wanted to let you know about the brand new push content we've integrated into our Ableton Run production course. All the basic techniques of push are introduced alongside the existing course content which has also recently been updated to include all the Live 9 features. So we kick off by showing you how to program a beat and then guide you through things like the scale function, building scenes, effects and automation. So let's check out an extract from the course where I look at how you can use Push to record automation into clips and also directly onto the arrangement. So for this video we're going to concentrate on automation. And one of the great new features of Live 9 is the ability to record automation directly into a clip, something you could never do uh, in Live 8 or previous versions. Um, so we're going to look at how to do that. It integrates very nicely with Ableton Push um, and also uh, how we can apply automation to our arrangement uh, which we've got here. So we're back in session view and um, just playing from session if we go back to the arrange page you can see that's all greyed out now and uh, let's try adding some automation uh, into this chord clip here. Let's just go back to the solo section here just solo this sound. So let's first uh, select the instrument here and uh, if we go to the device settings here, we can see this cutoff frequency. So let's try recording some of that automation into the clip. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the note mode and you can see what that does is it, it uh, selects the track to actually uh, record into the clip and it's a slightly less uh, red arm button here, sort of more of a pinky color, and that means that uh, we're, we can actually record some automation into this uh, clip. So um, just so we can try and see what's going on, I'm just going to double click on that. Yep, we can see then if I wiggle around this uh, filter frequency knob here, uh, you can see that line going up and down. So uh, we just need to make sure that this automation button is on. That means we can actually record the automation and uh, all we need to do is when we're ready to record it just hit this uh, red overduck button there and it will record our automation. So uh, let's just quickly go back to session view and make sure that uh, yeah nothing's solo. Let's just go to the track. Okay I'm just going to take that out of solo there. Go back to the note mode. Hit device. see that that filter frequency is uh, following uh, that red line that's going up and down. We could over we could overwrite that very easily just by recording some more in. So that's working very nicely and then if we were going to jam down our scenes back into the arrangement um, then that automation will get recorded with the clip at the same time so it's very very handy. Uh, let's try something else, let's go to track, let's try uh, the bass for example. Nice. So let's uh, just try recording that in as well, go back to note mode and uh, let's just select this so we can actually see it. Maybe try messing with the uh, resonance as well. And if we also go back to the track, we could also record some any of these parameters, the volume, pan, send. So maybe we could try adding some reverb to this bass sound as well. So you can see how that works, really, really easy. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to shoot back to the Arrange page and this is the arrangement we just jammed down and we're going to go back to that there and uh, we can then actually record some of these parameters down uh, directly over our arrangement. So let's start off uh, maybe with uh, this chord sound. 
So let's go to that and uh, let's just make sure we're on the right track. We've selected the right track. Here we go and select the device. And uh, if I move that around, you can see that automation line going up and down. Let's play it now from here. <laughs> So what I'm going to do is try to shoot between a few different tracks and a different, a few different parameters, and just record those down as we go uh, into the arrangement. Before we start recording, I'm just going to go back to session mode, and that will make sure that nothing is armed because I don't want to do overdub any parts. So uh, here we go. Let's uh, hit record and put these things in. <laughs> that going on really nicely. Let's maybe try some reverb. Maybe some delay. Let's try the bass line now. So you see how you can have a lot of fun recording automation over your arrangement with Push to really bring your tracks to life. At Point Blank Online, you've got two methods of interaction with your tutor. Firstly, you've got the weekly online masterclass, which is in real time. And then also we've got feedback on your assignments, and that's known as DVR. So the online masterclass is a one hour session you get with your tutor every week. You can ask questions about the lesson content and get instant feedback and also demonstrations on the fly from their computer desktop with our streaming technology. DVR stands for direct video response and the concept is really simple. You upload your Ableton Logic or Cubase project file to your tutor. He downloads it and then pushes record on the screen capturing software and evaluates your work. So basically giving you one-to-one -one feedback. You see all of the mouse movements and any parameter changes made by your tutor. It's kind of like sitting in the studio over their shoulder watching what they're doing whilst they work. We've found the DVR process has truly revolutionized the way that we teach online and the results speak for themselves. Book your place on the course now by visiting pointblankonline.net.